hi everybody thank you for watching so here is another Rite Aid haul so I did find time to go back to Rite Aid I had to do a few errands uh, this morning before I start to pack so I've already checked in for my flight to go to Chicago and so I've done this I'm gonna do this really quick video upload it and then I really need to start packing fixing up the house and getting it ready before I have to fly out tonight so I did these deals it worked out to be a money maker after all for all these items so I was really happy that I found the time to go back to Rite Aid and do one more deal so I will go over the breakdown of each of the deals show you my receipt and let you know how much I paid in the end you still have time to do these deals and also with Rite Aid you have that in ad coupon for spend 60 get $15 back there is three other unique barcodes that are similar so there are four barcodes in total so you can do that spend 60 get 15 four times this week so i did do two transactions on my other video and this is my third one i could go back and do a fourth one but i do not have time but you can do these deals i know there is a good png deal going on with rite aid where you can get some toilet paper and some tide so that could be a good deal for you also there is that png rebate that when you spend 50 dollars, you get 15 dollars back so a lot of people are doing that promotion because you are with the png it is spend 30 get 10 dollars back so you can ideally spend 60 get 20 dollars back from the weekly png promotion 15 dollars back from the spend 60 get 15 so 35 dollars back in total as well as 15 back from png so in the end it works out to be almost free or a money maker if you want to do that promotion so not bad there with the png if you wanted to do that i do not have time to get that the stores that i did go to they were kind of they were quite bare on the toilet paper that I really wanted as well as the Tide. So I decided to skip that deal this week. But yeah, if you do check YouTube, there are a few people even on Instagram that have done that deal. I think Jody Dunn did it as well where she got like four, um, four Charmin and some Tide. So there's a variety of different scenarios that you can utilize depending on the products that you want. Anyway, enough with the rambling, let's uh, show you the deals. So the first deal that I did is the Neutrogena. So the Neutrogena makeup, all makeup is a buy two, get a $6 bonus cash. I picked up four of these eye makeup removers. So they are normal price at $7.49. For some reason, it rang up 10% off at $6.79. So I did pick up four of them. That did come to $27.16. I had four of those $3 principles. I uh, got them from my Swagbucks link. So $3 off any Neutrogena makeup remover. So I used four of those. So I paid $15.16. I got $12 back in bonus cash because I did the deal twice. Work out to be a cost of $3.16 or $0.79 cents each. So that is a really good deal if you can print those coupons. Uh, the next deal I did is the CoverGirl. So same deal that I did in my other video. The promotion motion is spend 15 get five dollars back and uh, the limit is two so I did it once on my other video and so I just did the same thing um, this time I had three three dollar printable coupons so I was able to print more of them so basically the eyebrow pencils are 469 and then the eyeliner is 649 so for the three of those it did come to fifteen dollars and eighty seven cents I used three of those three dollar printable coupons I used my swag bucks link so I paid six 687 I got the five dollars back work out to be a cost of a dollar 87 or 62 cents each for those ones there I also did the Dr. Shawls again so this is I think a monthly deal and a limit is four so I did it once uh, on my other video and I've done it again uh, basically they are 25% off and then when you buy one you get a five dollar bonus cash so with this item here with the wart remover it is $8.99 so I paid $8.99 so that regularly $11.99 so if you're 25% off made it $8.99 and then I got five dollars back in bonus cash also my Ibotta reset with three dollars back so I paid 99 cents for that one there the other item that I got it was more of a filler I really just wanted to get in and out of the store and I did not know what else to grab so I did pick up this Maybelline eyebrow uh, styler thing so it is seven dollars and 59 cents uh, Maybelline is part of a promotion I think it's buy one get 50% off um, I just picked up one uh, so it's seven 
$5.59. I had a $2 printable coupon that I used for my Swagbucks link. So I paid $5.59. I got $2 back from my barter. What got to be cost of $3.59? Um, for all of those items there. So because when we got to the register, I did not realize that those were coming up 10% off. So for all of those items there, I was like 40 cents shy of the $60 mark. So I just threw in these M&Ms for 99 cents to kick me over. So basically for all those items here, everything here worked out to be a cost of $60.60. .60 after all coupons so i also had a spend 35 get seven dollar catalina coupon as well i did utilize that one as well so in the end i paid thirty dollars and sixty cents i will show you my receipt and then also how much i got so here you've got the dr shawls at 8.99 regularly 11.99 there are my three cover girl with my three three dollar coupons there's a neutrogena so it's regularly 7.49 it rang up at 6.79 Thankfully, I was actually watching the register and I saw that it got, there was a discount. So I was able to throw in that M&Ms because I would have been short like 40 cents to get the $15 for spending 60. Um, there are my four Neutrogena. There is my Maybelline with my $2 coupon and then the M&Ms. So with my spend 35, get seven, the barcode was a little faded. So he had to manually enter it in and get the manager's approval. So basically I spent $30 and 60 cents. I had $4 in tax. So I spent 34.63 i got back 37 i got back the 15 dollars as well as five dollars for the dr shawl 12 dollars for the neutrogena and then five dollars for the cover girl so i got 37 dollars back so including tax i spent 34.63 i got back 37 but i'm also getting back five dollars from ibotta so three dollars for the dr shawls and two dollars for the maybelline so basically um running down the numbers before coupons, all this would have cost $60.60. After coupons, I paid $30.60. I got back $37 in bonus cash plus $5 back from my barter. Work out to be an $11.40 moneymaker for all these items. If you want to include tax, it worked out to be a $7.37 moneymaker for all these items, which I'll be more than happy to pay. So I was really thankful for that. Um, and so, yeah, really quick Rite Aid haul. I was really happy that I was able to go in there today and quickly do these deals before I pack my stuff and head on to the airport to jump on a plane. But yeah, you still have time to do all these deals. You still have time till Saturday. The deals end on Saturday to do these. So yeah, here is my Rite Aid haul. Thank you for joining me.